Man, I cannot believe this. I can't believe we actually got kidnapped by the cheer skanks, thinking that our families have disowned us and that we lost everything for no reason. I mean, those skanks will not stop causing trouble like that. And what makes us even sadder, is that our beloved baby brothers and sisters all got killed by the cheer skanks. I feel like I'm going to. We get it now. And on top of it, we feel you Penelope. It really hurts to see our baby siblings dead. I mean, what the delinquent rebellion and the cheer skanks did was wrong, but they all need to accept the fact that they will be in hot water forever. Exactly. We don't want to see you crying right now. But look on the bright side Penelope, our families finally did the right thing of disowning the cheer skanks. I agree with Victoria. Nothing can ever stop the friendship no matter what, especially for our baby siblings. I mean, as bad as it gets to these skanks, I would have never expected them that they asked the delinquent rebellion to kill our baby siblings for no reason at all. I mean, I'm really furious about what they did. You know what Ariana, we have to agree with you on that one. What is even worse by now, is that they escaped from jail and that they wanted to kill our parents, just like they killed our baby siblings. You know what? I cannot even stand these skanks for what they all did. It's time to put an end to this madness once and for all. I agree with all three of you. The time for the madness on those cheer skanks all need to come to a serious end, and they will be put in limbo and then they will be executed. The cheer skanks all have really crossed the red line this time. Penelope, we all agree with you on that one. But you need to take your shower. It's time that we all need to get some beauty rest before we defeat those 15 scumbag skanks once and for all. I will Cecile, Victoria and Ariana. And I'm really pissed off about the cheer skanks for what they did to our baby siblings. Thank God they all lost everything, otherwise we all will be in serious jeopardy. Man, I cannot believe we lost everything and we're still mad about it. I feel you Penelope. The whole society will pay for all of this. Well I got to say, all 15 of you totally deserve to lose everything. We all hope that you are really happy. Oh, and another thing, we Midnight Meeps really despise all 15 of you, and we Midnight Meeps told the cheer girls on all 15 of you. That's why we pretended to be evil on you to make the evil versions of ourselves just like the cheer girls. Hey! You get back right here. We are not through with you just yet. Run run as fast as you can get me. You can't stop or catch me because I have power on all of you skanks. Come back here right now. Oh dear heavens help me. Girls, stop what? Um, hi cheer girls. We were just having a good time. Having a good time? Well, all 15 of you skanks are really going to have a great time in limbo when Penelope and her friends find out that you beat Naomi up. I bet you they're not going to be so happy. Penelope has a point here. And what's even worse, you severely injured Naomi Sakura, our beloved blueberry muffin from the Midnight Meeps and the Evil Meeps master of all time. If the Evil Meeps and the Midnight Meeps find out about all 15 of you, they will sue all 15 of you, the way that all 15 of you ended up asking the delinquent rebellion to get our baby siblings killed back in 2022. We have already called an ambulance right before we went to bed. Now Naomi is in critical condition and the midnight meeps are going to file a lawsuit on all 15 of you. All 15 of you are done for all of us to handle for, and we cannot tolerate with all 15 of you anymore. We have to agree with you eh? Your disgusting behaviors will not fly out in the real world. All 15 of you are just so lucky that she didn't die, otherwise if all 15 of you killed her, your asses will be put in behind bars again, not to mention that all 15 of you skanks had escaped from jail. And like we all said, limbo and execution will be your permanent punishment after the way all 15 of you psychopathic delinquents killed our baby brothers and sisters back in 2022. Mark our words cheer skanks, rot in hell forever. Cheer skanks Liana, Penelope, Victoria, Ariana, 
and Cecile, since you girls have done a lot of fuckery from 2022 to 2023, and since all 15 of you have escaped from jail after your parents disowned all 5 of you along with your 10 friends, we are going to send all 5 of you into limbo of time for good, where there will never be danger to society anymore. Shield of the smartest girl. No fair. Cheer girls, we are so sorry for everything we did. Yeah. Please give us cheer skanks another chance. We promise we will be better girls but please don't send us to limbo. Guess what? Your apologies will be permanently 1000% unaccepted, so if you all try to apologize to us cheer girls, then it will never happen forever. <coughs> Let's use our crystals of memories. We'll trap the cheer skanks in limbo outside of time, where they will never ever cause harm to society ever again and have them executed and erased out of existence forever. We also need to revive the baby siblings so they can get all the attention to our family members and that we all care for them. Power of the crystals, we all demand you to revive our baby siblings and send the cheer skanks into limbo so they will never cause harm to everyone in the whole society anymore and have them be executed for once and for all. We want our baby siblings to come back to life where they will be safe from harm and be protected by our families and friends and to all of us so they can stay with all of us. Forever. It's all over. Finally. The five cheer skanks are gone for good. I hope our baby siblings will find new hopes and new light to be revived by all of us cheer girls. And hopefully this will be the end of the cheer skanks forever. Alright cheer skanks Vanellope, Melody, Ocean, Crystal, and Sabrina, your journey as the cheer skanks is over. Since all five of you escaped from jail and did other horrible stuff to society like injuring Naomi, we are also sending you to limbo where you will be executed and it will never do harm for good. Crystal, do your stuff. Crystal Shield. Time to use our magic crystals of memories. It's all over. Hopefully this will be the end to those nasty chair skanks forever. Our baby siblings are really going to be extremely proud of us. Well 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 cheer skanks Maria, Yui, Sakura, Ichika, and Mimi, your madness to the whole society has now come to a serious close. We cannot believe all five of you along with your ten skank friends escaped from jail and then injured Naomi at the park. Do all five of you along with your ten friends realize that she could have died from her injuries? But thank God she didn't die, otherwise the midnight meeps sued you skanks. Not to mention that all fifteen of you have just killed our baby siblings all just because they got the attention and that all fifteen of you did not. Well guess what, we all told the delinquent rebellion about what happened to our baby siblings, and they were really disappointed in all fifteen of you skanks. We cried because our baby siblings passed away all because of you. It's a good thing that our moms and dads finally disowned all 15 of you, otherwise we would be in hot water and crying our eyes out. You really deserve to lose everything for the way that you put the whole society into serious jeopardy. I'm not gonna lie about it. Me too. Your behaviors will never fly out in the real world after the way that you put all of us in serious jeopardy. For your punishment, we all are going to send all 15 of you into limbo where all 5 of you along with your 10 friends will be executed. We are also going to tell the delinquent rebellion to revive our baby siblings so they can actually come back to us. We all want them to live their lives and be alive along with us so we can be happy from all this mayhem right now, and forever. Maria, do your stuff. With pleasure. It's all over. I know right Yui. Those cheer skanks finally blew it for real this time. Now they will be in limbo forever where they will not cause any more harm to all of us forever. And this will be a new revival to our baby siblings and the very end to those nasty cheer skanks forever. I know right Ichika. Yuna and our younger siblings will be extremely proud of us if our baby siblings get revived by all of us. For now. 
let's put our magic crystals back into our rooms. We all will use it at some times. Don't worry Penelope. Our baby siblings have been revived by the rebellion now. They got extra life mushrooms for each of them and they will be back to us no matter what. I know Cecile. I'm so relieved that they are safe from their deep sleep recovery and now I'm scared that something may happen to my grandfather. Penelope and Cecile, the Rebellion and I have great news that we all want to tell both of you along with the rest of the cheer girls. Your baby siblings are now back to life. What? You and the Rebellion didn't tell us at first. But how? In an instant. They actually went into a deep sleep by a drug called a Rufy pill, and I found it somewhere in the streets where your baby siblings played for it back in 2022. I was stunned when they passed out. It's not Skylar, Anna and me who did this to your baby siblings, it was the drug that made your baby siblings fall asleep. Oh thank heavens that our baby siblings got revived. I know right Penelope. Skylar, Anna and I are really pissed off about what happened to those skanks. The rest of the rebellion told us that it wasn't them who put your baby siblings to sleep, but it was actually the leader of the delinquent rebellion and the Rufy pills who did this to your baby siblings. You know, that leader put our siblings into this mess and we cheer girls thought for a reason why he put drugs into the streets where our baby siblings played with it and ate it, thus causing them to pass out. Our moms and dads are really shocked and saddened about these roofy pills into the streets. Why on earth would the leader of the delinquent rebellion do such a horrible act like this? I mean, he seriously has lost his mind right now. I think it's time that we all need to confront the leader of the delinquent rebellion as of right now. He is going to be in hot water forever. Penelope and Cecile? Is that really the two of you? Lauren Listen, and Cecilia, is, really you? is that really the two of you? Wow. It's a miracle that they are now alive. We've never been so happy in our lives Penelope and Cecile. I've been through this sleep ever since 2022 and now I'm very happy to be alive. We are so sorry that we got you geese killed back in 2022. We will never lose you guys along with your baby friends. It's not your fault Penelope and Cecile. We got the attention from our moms and dads because they really cared about us like all of you. I agree. We've been in this coma ever since the leader of the delinquent rebellion killed all of us back in 2022. So Skylar, Anna and Maria put all of us safe in the hospital where we will never be harmed by the leader of the delinquent rebellion ever again. But where's the rest of your friends Penelope? Long story Mason. They are all home safe with their families. But now they will all be meeting all of us in our new cheer house, located next to the park and the jail house next to the park where the cheer skanks got arrested and escaped from there last night. The cheer skanks are now in limbo for their punishment for everything they did to all of us, but now it's time to put a stop on the leader of the delinquent rebellion. So let's get going. I'll bring Skylar and Anna to confront the leader of the delinquent rebellion. Yes. My plan has finally worked on those baby siblings of those cheer girls. The society will never get away with this in the first place. We, the delinquent rebellion, will now take over the world. Not so fast Matthias Vendettas. We thought we all were good friends with you, but you had the full audacity to manipulate all of us to get our baby brothers and baby sisters killed because they got the attention back in 2022. I mean... You put drugs into the streets where Mason and his baby friends played with drugs and ate them. How could you put our baby siblings' own life at risk? Now thanks to you, our baby siblings are now gone because you put all of us in serious jeopardy. What you did to these cute and innocent siblings of ours is wrong and is a serious crime. Not to mention that you pulled hairs out of the cheer girls and urged them to create the cheer skanks so they can cause trouble. Are you out of your mind right now? And guess what? We all just revived the Cheer Girls' baby siblings and they're all brought back to life by the three of us. Look behind you Matthias. You're alive. What? How can this be? We don't want you to know Matthias. What you and the rest of your friends did was a felony and you can get arrested for it. Murdering children like us is a serious crime. Not to mention that you manipulated our older siblings just because they got the attention like us, thinking that they all didn't, when they all do like us. Yay! I agree with Josh and Mason. This is exactly why you shouldn't come near us or to our families ever again. 
And how many times do I have to tell you right now? My sister and I have autism. Why? Because my sister Melody and I are born with it. And I know this is getting over with, but Gina and I found out that along with our older sisters that we are the richest girls in the world because our families are rich. I agree with my bestie, Cecile, Crystal, and we are richer more than you because our families are rich. You know what, I can't stand you six along with your friends and your siblings anymore. I'm going to. If you and the rest of the delinquent rebellion think about killing our baby siblings, then you are so screwed up big time and we could get into tons of trouble. Now, my autism says get out of our sights right now and don't come near us ever again. We agree with my sister and our older friends, so get out right now, because my autism is also telling the same thing my big sister Melody is telling on you right now. We are so cutting ties with you forever. Good riddance forever, you pervert. No! I hope Matthias learns his valuable lesson. I agree with you, Penelope. Matthias deserves to be kicked out of the family and be put in limbo just like the cheer skanks. And we all hope this is the end of the cheer skanks forever. We agree with you, Crystal. Plus, we will all have a fresh new start without them and Mathis forever. But anyways, let's go to the mall and celebrate the cheer skanks and the delinquent rebellion's ultimate demise because I heard that they have been executed in limbo by electrocution. We are also going to celebrate along with our family members because we all revive all of you. That would be awesome. Thank you so much for having us back into our lives, cheer girls. And we all agree with you, Melody. We will have a fresh new start without the cheer skinks and the delinquent rebellion forever. Well, what are we all waiting for? Let's get going. Last one here is a crack tag. Well folks, it's the end of the Cheer Skanks. We all hope you enjoyed all 10 episodes and the big epilogue of the Cheer Skanks, which takes place after the events of One Strike and You're Out. Most credit goes to everyone and to all of you. And also, happy second anniversary of the Cheer Slash Sweet Slash Destiny Girls Get Karma.